I mean, if you're in the fellow strikers, but like, I, anything, I, what, like, what do you look like? What Listen, you, I'm, I'm going to let you in on a very, very close secret as somebody who's interacted with at least like five strikers now. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're all kind of douchebags. <laughs> Friday, friends. Ah, it's that time. We're back. It's more. Ah, well, it was two weeks in a row this time. It's nice to be back. I am, of course, DM Daddy RPG here to bring you the happy tabletop fun time shenanigans through this your weekend. Oh no, it's the trauma team. No, tra no trauma here. Everything's fine. Holy, that was a damn lie. Everything's <laughs> great. Everything's fine. Uh, before we get the ball rolling, let's go ahead and do the things. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the links below. If you're here in chat, well, you know what time it is. Uh, Discord! If you're not part of our Discord community, why don't you come over and join us? We currently are accepting submissions for a Demon the Fallen campaign that will be starting up. That is our next World of Darkness game going down, ran by the lovely, awesome, magnificent Jen of Thieves. Uh, she who edits and makes emotes and uh, runs games and so many other things. And Jen is made of awesome. You should totally come play in Jen's games. Yeah. You too! If you have not uh, subscribed to us on YouTube and you're just out there like, man, I wish I had hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of tabletop games to watch. We got you, fam. We have so many World of Darkness, uh, Powered by the Apocalypse, Dungeons and Dragons, freaking, we got it all. Midnight World, 
We, we are smorgasbord. We've got different vampire games from Fifth Ed to Sabbat to a uh, homebrew Bloodlines campaign, uh, Hunter the Reckoning. Like we've we've done we, we've done a lot. We've done a lot up in here. Up in here. One could say I'm gonna lose my mind. And of course, Patreon. Patreon's how we fund all this stuff. It's how we get all the books and how all the players get books and stuff, maps. Some games use maps more than other games, uh, so on, so forth, etc. We mostly use the map for um, for when combat breaks out, just for just for tracking. Uh, oh, hey, a pair of bricks. That's definitely not going to be a thing that's necessary here right. <laughs> here tonight. Okay, a pair of bricks for Chef. You got it, Chef. Uh, oh, and hey, we did all of our bricks last time. Good job. Good job, me. So brick times two. Write that down for the future. But Patreon, uh, as you just saw Chef Corhall use down there in chat, uh, Patreon gets you all kinds of cool things, gets you merch, slots and games, access to a private Discord where you can get get the jump on um, on the scoop on upcoming things, get the jump on one shots, so on, so forth, etc. There's a lot of cool stuff you get with our Patreon, so please click that link and uh, pledge with your heart, family, in our not a cult. We are joined tonight by uh, Pierce Heyman, portraying Never in Trouble, Nelson Ubahara, the alpha of said pack. Whatever. Lord of the Spear. Sure. Uh, Lexi, portrayed by Jen of Thieves. Uh, Unyielding Stone, a.k.a. Jacob, played by Brad with no R. Isabella Moonbloom, portrayed by Miss Cricket. And Tsunami. Portrayed by Deadly Ambitions. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's only been one week. This shouldn't be hard. Uh, Brad, tell us some stuff that happened last game. Oh, uh, let's see. We saw some things in our nice little trip in, in, in the Umbra there. Uh, uh -huh. Some of us saw some, some visions. Uh-huh. I saw one of uh, the Ganifinris strong and united against <laughs> apparently the world. <laughs> Get against the world may have to be a thing that's in the next merch bundle. <laughs> they they uh, apparently saved Gaia from everything. <laughs> Gaia is safe now. And uh, we're planning to... Uh, Take the fight to Balfius. Uh, apparently, unbeknownst to Unyielding Stone, <laughs> the one leading the charge was him! <laughs> Yay! All right. Because Someone doesn't know what he looks be. like when he's in Krytos. <laughs> Never seen himself in Krytos, so... <laughs> I can't uh, wait for that moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then, uh... All right, that's good. Nel uh, Nelson and Floor came and got him out. <laughs> yeah. It was perfect. It was great. It was awesome. Isabella, what happened last game? We saw everyone die, and I was not able to save any of them. Mm. I was a wrecked little ball on the floor. <laughs> and now I'm in Prague, and I've never been this far away from home, so I'm going sightseeing. Hell yeah. Things to come in the future. Tonight's going to be an awesome episode. Uh, tsunami. There we go. That would help. Um, <laughs> tsunami had a uh, anime vision of a the dragon peering down upon him and his other strikers that are of other different kinds of branches of the family mm -hmm. or elements, as you may say. Um. And, you know, realize that a lot of them just fucking suck. He also realized there's another striker in his presence near him that he was told not to go see. We'll see if that holds true. Right. <laughs> What's up, Styles? What's up, Styles? Welcome. It's been a minute. Welcome to Werewolf Time. You. We miss you. Lexi. Oh. Lexi had unwelcome fun at a club 
What are you talking about? She was very enthusiastic and happy about it. And then got drunk at a castle. <laughs> and Nelson. Nelson is having a day. Because he got bits and pieces of everybody's nightmare, including his own. And he just was not having it. And he tried to fight it so hard, and then he still drank with his dad. So that's fun. But hey, we also settled our debt with the big spider, so we don't have to go back there unless we want to go back there. And Floor might want to go back there because Floor's got stuff there. Yeah, but we're out of there, and we're in Prague, and <sighs> all is right with the world. Nothing is right with the world. <laughs> all is right with the world. With the world. All is right. Everything is terrible. We last left off with. The pack deciding that they were going to, I believe, take the generous offer and sleep in this castle. <laughs> yep. Ah, uh, because because it has been <laughs> Styles. Thank you so much for that resub, my friend. Hey. Emotional damage. There was a lot of that last week. If you haven't watched last week's episode, I highly recommend go checking it out on YouTube. <laughs> that was a lot of fun role play. And that's uh, what tonight's going to be, too. Uh, or maybe combat. Who knows? We'll see how things go as we're guests out here in Prague. Oh, Beals! My, oh, Beals. my mod has made it! What's a mod sword? Uh, Beals, I believe you're the only person that has the mod sword. So I'm so glad that you come through. And, of course, thank you for the gifted subs, friend. I hope your week was good. <laughs> We decided to crash at the castle at the lovely invitation of one Luciano Giovanni. There's only uh, one firm rule. Don't go into the north wing of the castle. And you all go. Everything. It's the most top of the line. Best accommodations you all had in a really, really long time. If ever, for some of you, who may or may not have ever left the forests of Brazil. <laughs> It's going to be great. Everything's ornate, fine luxury, the softest beds, the greatest pillows. Anything that's not up to your standards, uh, Rollin happily goes and fetches for you. Until, of course, you are all set and he leaves you all be completely, as far as you can tell, in your room. Mm -hmm. Catch some strong Z's. Bath. Bath. Is a bath shower situation? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do a hard shake of the... Cloak. I think the Hunger Games at the Capitol where it's all those knobs and buttons and soaps and yeah. fancy stuff. Take every last bit of airplane bottles and loose alcohol I have on me. <laughs> and just go into the bathroom. I have like three different maps of Prague laid out on the ground and I'm just <laughs> marking stuff with stars and circling other areas that I want to go visit. Uh, are there extra clothes? What would you like? Something hot. By which decade? The now one? Oh, but they have a medieval dinner. We could go there. Rollin totally takes notes in his notebook. <laughs> and turns to Lisa. It's like, they'll be waiting for you in the morning, man. Oh, so no medieval dinner. I will make a note, and we will see. Not all of the guests and residents of this castle partake of food, but we'll see about entertaining the idea. Any other requests? No, thank you. Oh, well, um, well, here on the property, we have, of course, the church. There is a vast library. There are 
um, training halls, anything you could desire, just ask. And remember, don't be freaked out by whispering. Though if you're active during though if you're active during the day, you sh should be fine. The more warnings we get about whisper, the more worried I am about whisper. Do not be worried about whisper. I assure you. I'm not worried about whisper. Do, don't worry about whisper. You have is there my a word. Is there actually a whisper? Is this some kind of game? <laughs> And he goes with his list of things that you've all requested. List. Here you are, elaborate royal castle in Prague, alone, in some vampire's castle. There's, like, part, there's like a part of my life where this like would have seemed like peak Lexi. I wonder if there's any hidden rooms around here. Oh, I don't go else? yanking on torches. Top train. Where's this conversation happening? It's happening in your guy's room. Can I hear it from the bathtub? Sure. <laughs> cool. Don't go touching stuff. What can I do? I want to say use your best judgment. But we're going to go ahead and say use Stone's best judgment. <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 is Stone actually laughing at that? Because that would be my, my first look when he says that would be at, at unyielding. Just looking at him. <laughs> there, there's probably a wolf smirk because he's... <laughs> <laughs> a big wolfish grin planted over the lupine features of... Wait, no, are you in Hamid right now? He he knew what we were. We're staying here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not hanging out in. Perfect. Yeah, I, I've been. I've been told it's safe. I'm not happy. But, yeah. so. You know, Nelson, you want some of this mystery booze? Hmm. I do. But I gotta be on guard because I'm alpha. Drink it. Oh, this is a bottle of like ibuprofen. Don't do anything for me. Thank you, though. <laughs> Get good and slosh, like they owe it to you. So, is, is this like castle, like an ancient castle with like just a courtyard, or is this you know, castle like uh, no, with, the, like the, the church behind the, me, the the church that you went to, so. <laughs> Yeah, if you look at Brad's panel, that entire, like, lit-up structure behind him is the castle grounds. The church that you went to is in the castle grounds. Like, the, the castle and its territory are vast and massive and very, very encompassing. Yeah. <laughs> this place is huge. If deadly, if you Google Prague Castle... <laughs> Do, do, do you think there's like a nice fountain or like manga or I don't think they have a big screen TV. Those are two very different things, right? So crazy different. What do you mean? Oh, there's a fountain. Crazy different oh, things, play. right? A fountain and manga. Those are that that's apples and like stairs. Peace and peace. Like, there's probably fountains. I don't know what a manga is. It's like a book. But with action. And, like, you know, cool stuff. Mm. 
Oh. And you read it backwards. I am that, a lupus. What? I am a lupus. <laughs> <laughs> There's a host of nightclubs over here. The dummy waiter off to the side of the room opens. The golden paneling just kind of sliding up. There's a bell sitting inside of it. Small note. If you have any questions or concerns or needs, please just ring the bell. I'd ring the bell. What was that? <laughs> no, no, I'm here to tell me if I have any questions. A polite knock on the door. A few moments later. Come in. The door opens. And a haggard looking old man lines all through his face. His hair's ratty and very disheveled. You you swear this is probably a bum. Kind of steps in. His clothes ripped, shot, torn. Hello there. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi. Um, we're new here. Um, he expressed fondly you guys, like... and jovially, announcing that the newness to the castle... Inquiries, What's going on? Inquiries soon came. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> and the humble voice was happy to answer. He's a little creepy. Oh, say that in front of him. That's not nice. He scolded his pack mate. Still delaying, still delaying asking the question of the contents of the library. Is it all you want to drink? Do you have a drink? But I found a bunch of nightclubs you might enjoy. Do you have a thing called a, a, a manga? Oh, thank you. And you're, do you have like a library with like, you know, like. You, you don't want to go. Little, Wait, my little did the jockey nerd know that the library contains all things, all wonders of the pressed upon paper word. I'm going to the library. Little, else is in the room now because nobody answers the question when he said who you're talking oh, to. <laughs> little, little did he know what awaited him in the <laughs> library. And he slowly backs away through the door. His eyes never like, never focusing on one of you. Just kind of listlessly staring, stepping back and closing the doors behind, like in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I'll watching ring the bell. Is that what happened when you rung the bell? Uh huh. It is. Yep. Midget Queen, hello! It's been forever! Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, so, if you have any questions, guys, uh, here's the bell. I'm going to toss the bell to Nelson. It's going to bounce off his chest as it's just looking at you. Oh, no. It rang. Out of the midst of the ground. <laughs> oh, no. A polite knock. <laughs> <laughs> Raps We're upon fine. the door. Misfire with the bell. Sorry. There's some kind of mumbling happening behind the door. <laughs> it's not very intelligible. <laughs> sorry. Mm. No, sorry, Nelson. No, I'm going to pick the bell up. Then I hand it to you. Well, take the bell. That wasn't the issue, but okay. I've got the bell now. Maybe let's just kind of hang out in here and be cool for a bit. Hmm. Another knock on the door. The same polite curt knock. Y yes. Door cracks open. If you desire, if you desire coolness. The thermostat is next to the bathroom door. The humble host informed. Thanks. The cracked door closes. Real quick, Matt. Uh, does do Nami have any spare wood to whittle? He 
He does not. It unfortunately broke in your fall through the Umbra. <laughs> uh, before you go, sir, can I have some, can I have some wood? Please. Please. Weapons were asked for. Things wielded against the hosts. No. And the no, master's no, kind. No, 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 not weapons. Informing of the master took place soon no. after. No. But like, like to to make to make if, nice uh, looking thing. If the jockey nerd so desired to craft, he should go to the workshop in the courtyard. I can't leave here. <laughs> Good job not freaking out. That was in mind speak, by the way. <laughs> he's like, I'm, I don't know if he can understand Wolf, but I'm not talking out loud around this guy. <laughs> just in case. Yeah, he's just like, no, that job not freaking out. Uh, hilariously, Midget, they are getting drunk in the castle. <laughs> I'm Lexi's, Lexi's just going to burrito herself. I mean, I'm a little buzzed. I took the first Super swing. nice castle. <laughs> Blanket. I'm definitely still a little buzzed. <laughs> Those of you that did partake of Zen's drink would, in fact, still be a little buzzed. Yep. <laughs> Lexi has not let go of the bottle. Yep. That bottle's part of her now. <laughs> All right. I'll wait here. Perception investigation, anybody who's paying attention to beyond the door. Okay. Any reason to leave, yes. <laughs> Five success. Oh, yeah. oh, God, that's right. It has to be light mode. <laughs> to see the things. Oh, goody, this is starting again. Yep. <laughs> Tens and ones, yeah. Perfect. Hey, it made for some fun roleplay moments last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy steps can be heard in the hall, the vast hallway outside your door. Like, getting closer. And it sounds like they stop right outside of your door. Before continuing on. I call out as it stops. What do you call out? Good evening. Who? Who are you talking to? There's someone, there's someone outside the door. What does mean you yell at uh, them? They're it's all really yelling. It's a hallway. Well, I cannot leave the door. Welcome, guests. And you gotta be nice. A familiar voice? Not at all. <laughs> Thank you. Who there is a giant are? castle to explore. I cannot explore. So please. anybody who passes, I'm going to greet. Oh my god, please let him go. It's okay. So instead of laying low, your thing is to invite potential threats. The, the, the dude said we're safe here. We gotta take him you at his believe word. Believe everything everybody tells you all the time. The vampire said we're safe here. He might I mean, be no immediate home. He could have killed, already killed us. Yeah, and he did. But he did it. So that's him. Uh -huh. so you can't just assume everybody that's also here is also going to believe by the same rules, man. He also, doesn't go looking for your like cousin or whatever. Also, you're assuming that he wants us to die. That's the other, that's the only other option is he has no nefarious plan or he wants us to die. I mean. So, so there's no other option that a evil vampire could have for us ever. I mean, that he'll turn us and that's the only other thing that I can think of. There are so many things worse than death, my guy. Vampire. Turn us. You make it a vampire. Damn it. But. Focus on. Now. Keep it together. 
trying to soak. <laughs> What's up? Maybe Tommy? we're maybe we're thinking of everything in the wrong perspective, though. At the same time. What do you mean everything? Everything. I mean, we know a little bit of most people's dreams or visions or whatever they were, whatever they were. And maybe we're trying to tackle a problem at the wrong angle. What problem instead do you think we're going, trying to tackle? Instead of going for a throw, maybe we should be going for a double leg. That's not helping. What are you talking about? Um, Am I really this drunk? No, because no, I don't understand him either. You know. What the hell is wrong with you? What are you what's wrong with me? Speak! I, human! I don't know! Fuck off! What the hell? <laughs> Use actual words! I don't know what you're talking about! Usually I'm somewhat lost but can follow. You have just jumped off whatever y'all call... what the, the proverbial map. You've just jumped off of it. Ooh. Drinks more. Yeah, I mean, just kind of... give me another stamina roll, Exit. <laughs> okay. I mean, camera, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> just also like, yeah, tell me, tell me, Tsunami. <laughs> we'll live uh, there. It's just, if, if Tsunami wasn't already speaking in mind speak, he is going to mind speak for this. Yeah, there we go. Um, I mean, how many times have the tribes gone their separate ways or done things like the other groups want to do to basically kill all the other things and make them a supremacy are you, of... Are you star ring? You are the <laughs> only tribe that has left. Seven, yeah, like... seven times, you hear whispered from behind the door. Uh, um, Sorry, I'm speaking. <laughs> well, he knew what Tsunami wanted to know before he actually asked the question, so I'm guessing he doesn't need to be in mind speak. Mind speak, can you hear us? Whisper? From outside the door. Can he? I don't know. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> They're the ones <laughs> in the other room. <laughs> yep. Superb. We have these the new thing new group of worlds that want to basically do their own thing and. You know. What? Um, How long has this finished? war gone on? Which wars? What? what? Oh, the wars. The wars. Well, the, I mean, I feel like, like you picked up on a conversation that we had like a while ago and now. Did you visit another you. dream before we even got to you? Did we bring back the wrong tsunami? The other people who, the other werewolves who got together in Alaska. Yes? Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. How many times has something like that happened? Historically, it's, things, it's a common occurrence. How many times have tribes had clandestine meetings that they don't tell anybody else? <clears throat> About purging a particular race? 15 <laughs> times since the Clandestine meetings they don't tell about in anybody else? There is no About, way of knowing. About purging a race? Since the conversation started. It doesn't matter what they're talking about. If they get together and don't tell anybody they've gotten together, then nobody fucking knows about it. But we know about it. We know they want to like basically purge things. Are you like, talking about the sanctum and whatever stuff? Yes. Okay. For once, for one second. Fuck. The conversation didn't happen. That conversation didn't happen to between all the tribes there. Nope. No. It happened between the sharks and the talents. There's one werewolf tribe who's always wanted to kill humans. That's not even new. 
<laughs> that's not new. That's not a secret. And then we, on and other characters, we, and we learned there's more that they wanted, more that are want to join that. Out of character from forever ago, the tribal counselors of the Black Furies, the Red Talons, the Geta Fenris, the Fianna, um, the two other, the Wendigo, and oh my god. And one other one, that's very conservative, got together to have a thing. And they were talking about how they're going to save Gaia by uniting, so on, so forth, etc. The, the less clandestine, more murderous thing did happen after that, and that was specifically between Thistlechar, the tribal counselor of the Red Talons, and some sharks out in the water. It was not all the Guru. Yeah. yeah. And not all the guru, guru that were there seemed to agree with it because they had left. That right was, that, that was, because that, because that session happened so long ago, I am happy, I am happy to correct where, where things were there. Yeah. We have not been seeing that glyph all over the place like we should have, but that was the thing that was going on like that. <laughs> not yet, anyways. But, yeah. Stop yeah. <laughs> we've been doing other things too, like, but like, you know, maybe we just need to take a different approach versus just how it's always been done. Silverfangs, that was the sixth tribe. Okay. Yes. Well, but, oh, Conservatives. I, what do you? I I don't know what what approach. What are you talking about? Approach to what? Like, what are we actively doing that we don't need to be doing, in your opinion, Tsunami? What I mean, we're not doing to do anything else. I don't think we should be doing, but... You started saying we need to do something different, and you haven't even Maybe talked about what your to. plan is. Maybe we need to, though. For what? What is the uh, goal? To, to succeed. To you can't even say we need to do something different and then offer no goal for whatever. End your mind, Web. I forgot how passionate and loud... Guru can be. <laughs> Inside voice. Old Mazda's voice. It sounds like a louder version of Whisper. Uh -huh. Oh, sweet. This is this. This is inside my head. We're all inside. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you yelling in your head? Because I'm talking to Tsunami. <laughs> it's kind of a default function at this point. One who screams at the ocean will find it a fruitless effort. Oh, no! <laughs> but one who screams at Tsunami finds it therapeutic! <laughs> I would never deny someone their therapy. Thank you! There's the sound of a closing door in your mind, Web. Lexi's gonna drink some more. I don't know if she's still feeling it, but mm mm. For... The light. <sighs> We're done. Oh, so she's like, I'm out. <laughs> Alpha said I could drink. I'm getting drunk. Fuck this. Lexi's going to keep drinking until the room starts tipping. It does not take long. And for a professional slash werewolf like Lexi, that's weird. So now, I mean, she's also been out all for game for a while. Star gazers tend to be cryptic and insightful at the same time. And I know you want to emulate that but to do that you have to have a point you're trying to make no necessarily just a point it was an observation about on what i don't know yeah. things could be different <laughs> your exact words are yes that things was, could be different that was Thank the you. that was the most stargazer answer ever it's like a different how it's like i don't know yet yeah you just came out and was like you look we need to do things differently concerning i don't know things. <laughs> stuff vibes thanks Cows. i'll get on being different I'm now talking to you calmly. That's different. Oh, That's shit. Right, you Tsunami know. did it. No, it's not it's therapeutic. I'm, now, I'm also getting angry while talking to you calmly, so that's also different. Yeah. So, good job. I've changed. Mm. 
Maybe let's keep you a little bit more the same, Stone. <laughs> I, like, I like the Stone we've, we've we've gotten to know these lands. Hey, 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 Stone. Yeah. I, I, I asked you before, but I think you forgot. Um, I probably put it out of my mind. Would you be willing to be a godfather? Yeah. What? I, okay, I did not hear that one. Okay, pause, pause, what? everybody pause, what? brain what? pause, brain pause. What? Mm hmm Tsunami? Yeah. Let's do a quick bit of, um, reading the room. Uh, our buddy Stone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Just, you know, lupus born, correct? Yes. Fine well, specimen of a lupus born. What is the best? Nice. Yes. I don't want to come off as insensitive real quick to you, um, Stone. Uh -huh. You're a Ged. Ged are yes. mild, just wildly aware of their own mortality. <laughs> you're going, yeah. you, you're going, you're the dying, it's the dying battle. We, we are going to die in battle, that's the thing. You realize that we right now are older than he is ever going to be. Right? I mean... I've told you that before. Yeah, but like... In another argument. Like... But it's, 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 unyiel it's, it's, it's unyielding, though. It's unyielding, though. It's unyielding, like... What? Who okay. else would okay. be like, like... Here's something for you, Stargazer. Time wears down the mountain. I mean, that's not very cryptic. That's just... Yeah, that's, that's dope. Okay, forward. Well, like, well, I'm sorry. That's it just, it's dumb waiter door opens again. <laughs> your kid can probably won't, your, your kid won't even reach the potential to have his first change <laughs> in my lifetime. Why? Is Isabella, you didn't get that? You don't want that to be an actual possibility. You really that don't. Means, that means something really bad yeah, happened. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it may sound rude, but how old are you? Walk over to the dumbwaiter. Isabel, when you get there, there are six slips of paper. I am four. Uh, with various checkboxes. You've never seen this because you've never left your Karen before. But it's just a list of foods with little check boxes beside it. Oh fuck yes! I'm gonna gather them all up and just kind of stare at them for a second. Um, the dick pics? No, no. Uh, food? Food? It's asking, I guess, what kind of food you want. We didn't order any food though. So. Anything but rabbit. I'm gonna start passing mm -hmm. out the little slip of paper. Malay, one in front of unyielding. Lexi, this this is clearly a room service list thing. <laughs> it's room service, so it can send us food. Hmm. She like snakes a hand out and like pulls it into the blanket. <laughs> But why would why would you order food to the room when there's so many places you could go out to eat? Look at all these places. Stay in at the moment. Is this castle is like a whole village? Mm -hmm. But we're staying in in at the moment. When we leave, there's we so can many experience places to the see. Yes, it's also nighttime. Yeah. Oh, but there's a big nightlife here. Look at all the pamphlets. This is the home of someone they don't want to see right now. Mm -hmm. No. Who's gonna kill us? I, I want to be a make a joke. There is a big nightlife out there. Because they're very the room. Yes. That's one piece. Red the room. And the room needs a little lightning. I'm sorry for asking you to be the godfather of my kid. I didn't you remember the first time, yeah, so. 
You're just the one person who's taught me the most and, and the most real. And I know well, I can be a goofball. The lights in the the lights in the room get a bit brighter. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Now we just gotta select a hamburger or ramen if there's a ramen option. It's mostly breakfast foods. Oh. Oh, hell breakfast yeah. that night. This is amazing. Mm. It's almost like it's preparations for your breakfast the following morning. Mm. And you just have protein in them. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of all kinds of various foods and sausage and eggs and Bacons. Well, if Tsunami can't leave, he's going to go over the corner and he's going to meditate. There's there's one list that is different. And that's like duck, rabbit, deer. <laughs> Wonder who that's for. Right? The person who can't read. <laughs> he can read. And they know it. <laughs> Uh, this is going to sound sacrilege, Matt, um, but it's not going to go to anybody else. Um, but Tsunami is going to go over the corner, mm -hmm. and he's going to meditate on what makes the worm actually evil. <laughs> you're going to meditate on You're going to meditate on that? I'm going to meditate on it. At, seeking for visions or answers or something. <sighs> Hell yeah. Because, okay, just a rumor, just because huh? vampires are the worm, right? That's everything. That is what you've been taught. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to try to seek a connection between vampires and worms and what makes them evil if they're inherent evil. Or if the raising of them of some sort, something else makes them evil. And this is a great place to ask that question. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Maybe you'll encounter some NPCs that you can ask that question. So, I want to go on a vision quest. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna check off what I want for breakfast and put it back in the dumb waiter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be all proteins for me. Okay. Well, all of them. Look, I get out of the bath too. I do. Eventually, Lexi will just like reject the paper from her cocoon. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Everybody good? Define good. Uh, that means no. Nope. Well, I'm fine. I'm just trying to figure out where all I can go. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Nowhere! <sighs> For right now, the answer is nowhere. The answer's about to be to but It'll eventually be somewhere, and I'll have a list of places I can visit. Hmm. I guess in the daytime you can do whatever you want, maybe. Hmm. I wonder when it gets real quiet in the room. It's everybody doing their own thing. Because I want to talk to Phoenix. <laughs> Or if Phoenix doesn't respond, we're just going to talk at Phoenix for a bit. Talk at Phoenix and we'll see if she responds. <laughs> hmm. My stomach feels warm, so I know you're still in there. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. I know we're supposed to fix things and bring you back, but everything seems to just go on a, just not off the rails, but just spreading out. One thing leads to something else. It feels like it's random. I don't know if it's random, but.
I don't want to harp like I'm going on about my ex, but times like this, Raccoon would pop out and, you know, call us kids, and drink with us, just hang out. You are no longer children. Gaia is vast, and the path is long. What may seem random. All things are connected by Gaia. Are we making headway? Is that something you can tell me? Aim me? What are you seeking to achieve, Nelson? I just want to make things better for the ones coming up after us. Lexi's little girls. My brothers. Tsunami's child. But that path is not yet walked down. And I cannot say. And so also, as living things would say, difficult to determine. Your head, for some reason, glances towards stone. Some would say his future would achieve what you asked. Hmm. For example, it's a rough one. But the path you're currently on, and your head turns listlessly towards Tsunami, meditating in the corner. That path decides everything. There is one here where you are who can give you more answers. Tsunami have to get drowned for that one to go back that way? Metaphorically, at least. <laughs> Thank you. Nice talking with you. It is good to have you back. Whew, okay. Out of the bathtub. <laughs> Starkers. Ain't nothing y'all ain't seen before. <laughs> oh. You guys want to wander around a bit? Yes. Sound? Sure. You don't have to if you don't want to. I don't want to stay here. Mm. Lexi, how you feeling? You guys can go on without me. I told you you can get drunk. If you want to hang out here and do that, that's fine too. Just get comfortable. All right? We'll try to keep uh, in distance of mind web. Keep you on your toes. Hey. Mm -hmm. Tsunami completely out. He, he's meditating hard. Rhinos. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Let's go talk to some leeches. Oh, uh, <laughs> Fine, this sounds like a great idea. <laughs> um, would I be in a meditative state yet, Matt, or no? There we go. Give, uh, give me a percept give me a perception alertness to notice your surroundings in your meditative state. You totally hear you totally hear Nelson be like, anybody want to go explore? Um, well, if I have reached a meditation state where I think I'm getting somewhere, I'll stay in my meditative state. But if I feel like I'm not getting anywhere, I will. Nothing's coming. Okay. In the castle, out of the castle, or rules? We'll stick together. Watch each other's back. But. Ooh. Or let's check out that library. See who uh, knows what. Take a look, it's in a book. Mm. Okay. You all venture out of the room, except for Lexi. And Floor. We'll say Floor's also already conked out. <laughs> also had a big day. She did. The door creaks open, and you go to look out, and the hallway's empty. It's the spell service. Yeah, got the bell. Ding. From beside the door, just appearing like out of thin air. Yes. The humble service. Yes. Good evening. Uh are we cool to wander around and check out the library, not go to the north wing? One could say, you're never in trouble, he replied. I like him. That's starting to slip. Hey, appreciate you. The library. He starts wandering down the hall. Close the door when we're all out. Following. Mm. I want to shoot a quick text message off to Mama to let her know where the hell we ended up. How's that phone service? How's the phone service? <laughs> phone service, you have bars. But the text is not going through. Just keep spinning. Does your phone work better? Anybody have service? Check my phone. You have bars? Got bars. You have a bunch of uh, missed texts? Hmm. I borrow your phone. Pass it back. Let's send the text from his phone. Same thing. Spins. No, yours is useless too. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate it. No. Mm -hmm. Is there a landline? If there is, you haven't seen one. What year is it? People still have landlines now. I can't say that. If I open, I install them. <laughs> if I open my phone, I go to the internet. Do I get internet? You do not. Okay. You also have a bunch of missed text tsunami. Well, I had service somewhere. 
I'm assuming they're all from um, my mate. Uh huh. <laughs> Empty tea, we ignore them. <laughs> but I'll look at them. There's one from Benny. <laughs> <laughs> do you look at the most recent one or do you scroll up first? I look at the most recent and I scroll down. The right. most. The, the most recent, we miss you. Oh. It was dated three years ago. What? Oh. <clears throat> Guys? Yes, I don't, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. We're in well, not obviously, we're in Prague. I'm going to show Nelson my phone. Like, Here, here's a text that reads three years ago. Hold up. <laughs> Pull my phone out. <laughs> Guys, this, same thing. Uh, you have a text message from your brother's like, we'll hold it down. <laughs> I was wondering about that. Lexi. Hey. <laughs> I heard what Phoenix said. What? <laughs> hmm. Lexi, check your phone. Check your phone. Well, Why? They can say where we are right now. They can say when we are. What? <laughs> hmm. God damn it. Check your phone. <laughs> At this rate, uh, Stone, you'll be able to see my kid transform. What? Mm -hmm. Lex, do you you've received multiple texts from like a lot of the Black Furies that you knew. There's a couple from a number that's Brazil, essentially. Saying what? Just uh, the the Black Fears is like, hey, we haven't heard from you. And then like, occasionally it's like, it's like, rest in peace, like well wishes, things like that. The ones from Brazil, it's like, it's like one specific day every year. There's only three, and they're videos of yeah. babies. And then, like, the most recent one's Toddlers. Hey, God. <laughs> mm. The fuck? Stone, you can go ahead and roll me lore. Do, 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 do. Brad already knows his out of character, but we're being honest. Uh -huh. <laughs> How are we I going see. three years? Hey. Time in the Umbra is kind of different. Mm hmm. Uh huh. It's, it's like sometimes what can feel like hours can be days. Sometimes days could be years. And it's kind of hard to tell when you're in a nightmare exactly how long that nightmare is. Yep. Because. Someone's smarter say something. There would have been that the Umbra's weird is the best way to go about this. If it had just been Cyber Realm, Glasswalker, Ancestral Realm, we would have been fine. Probably at the most months, but. The abyss is deep in the Umbra. The abyss is different, and there's not a lot known about it. To get here, we came through the abyss, and we don't know how long we were sleeping. 
Well, I guess I wasn't wrong. I'm like literally the worst mob ever. Mm, not even close. I kind of abandoned my kids at like 20 minutes old. Lexi, that's nothing new in Garu society. Okay, well, it's new to me. I know, but you're not the worst parent ever for doing so. Not the worst. The haggard there man are, stops you at a door. There are that are worse. In oh, God, yes. <laughs> For the library? The library. Thank you. Lexi, well, you're not the worst. You gave them a gift that nobody else can give them. Hmm. All right, well, library, everybody be on your best behavior. So it just gives a look like he's like, <laughs> like confused. He's like, always on him. <laughs> like... I'm always on my best behavior. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Is uh, is Oogie Boogie still hanging out with us? <laughs> when, when, when he bowed, he kind of just faded out of existence in front of you. Okay. Man gives me the creeps. Cool trick, though. It's the one thing you're not supposed to get, woman. Rude. You hear whispered <laughs> faintly in the hallway. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a librarian. Oh, did you go into the library? He just got you to the door. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going in it. You go in, and near the front, standing at what looks like uh, the desk of a library. The front desk. Nelson, you swear this creature is familiar to you. You've heard stories of the Fae coming up as a Fianna. Mm -hmm. And while he seems off, he's also still familiar. <laughs> the skin is pale, almost translucent. You can see blue veins running down what skin's exposed. His ears elongated, but his eyes are jet black, and he has long fangs. He's beautiful, but he's wrong. He's unnatural and fantastical. Yeah. And as you all enter, he kind of like sits more upright. Hmm. Good evening. How may I be of service? Mm. I'd like to find some, uh, uh, occult history books. On Maybe what you... subject matter? Mm. But everything. You got a general... Gen general knowledge of occult history. Mm. He rises out of his seat, and oh my god, this dude's like eight feet tall. Mm. Good lord. One moment. Low chair. He wanders over to his shelf and thumbs through, and it's at that moment all of you, any of you paying attention would notice none of these books are labeled. Rows upon rows, thousands of tomes and books, spines all blank.
plucks one. Holds it to his chest as he walks over to you. Hands it down. Thank you. Let me know if you require something specific. Will do. Carefully take the book. He looks to the rest of you while he's up already. I'm not touching anything here. <laughs> you sit down next to Nelson. <laughs> Is Lexi with us, or she's on the room? Lexi stayed in the room. Okay. Um, is Cricket nearby? Yes, Isabella's here, but not here. <laughs> okay. How far away is Nelson and Dylan? They just walked over to a table to start reading, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. I I'm going to go over and I'm going to whisper to the guy so, like, nobody can hear. Do you hope? Connections between the worm and vampires and the morality of good and evil of the world. Mm. Oh. He grabs a cart and starts pushing. Oh, oh boy. In the silence of the library, the wheels just creak, creak, creak. Mm, grabs a book, sets it down. Comes back to you with at least eight books. Are they organized in any manner? Morality. Lore of the worm. And while you were whispering, he is not being quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, oh, that's good, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. I appreciate it, thank you. You are welcome. I want to push it over into a uh, corner, <laughs> as far away as possible. And as far the away as possible, book? and just start reading. You the didn't my book? <laughs> Ants on over there, <laughs> The giant fey creature looks down at Isabella. Yes. Any, any readings for you, madam? Uh, good day. Oh, 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 ah, Cricket doesn't want to read. Ah, ah. Nerd. <laughs> Very well. Intruder, intruder. <laughs> he makes his well, way they can't, they can't he, all be book nerds okay he makes his way back to his desk bends down and then leans down and then sits back into the chair <laughs> occasionally thumbing through a book of his own Meanwhile, yep. Yep, there's tsunami. Meanwhile, back in the Pax room, there's a soft knock. Not the curt, polite one. This is a new knock. Uh, after trying very hard to send text messages that don't go through, uh, Lexi will roll out of bed. To open the door so the knocking doesn't work for. The handsomest man you've ever seen. <laughs> you saw him in the church earlier. What's up? What <laughs> troubles you, child? I'm fine. Your pack may believe that. Don't lie to me. Well, just find out we were gone for three years. Hmm. 
My kids are three years and 26 minutes old now. Congratulations. Uh-huh. Did you not want them to still be alive? I kind of thought I would be there for a little bit more than that. Well, good news. You're back. Also, those young years, they don't even really retain that many memories. Yeah, but I guess I kind of still feel like an asshole. So? I haven't seen my child in 50 years. Uh, I don't really know uh, for sure, but like for context clues, I'm guessing the timeline there is a little bit longer. It is, but I'm sorry, I'm I'm not familiar with dealing with this kind of situation. What do you mean? I mean relating to short lifespan. Right. Well, like, if it helps, uh, until, like, two years ago, I thought I was, like, basically gonna live forever, so... Whose goal were you? Not, like, literally... <sighs> literally... What's a oh, just... Uh, ghoul is... Like, I'm gonna let him call you a ghoul? A ghoul is, like, Rollin. What does that mean? He drinks a vampire's blood and re regains some sense of immortality. Oh. Do you think he likes that? Depends on who he's had to interact with. <laughs> okay. He has been with me for 300 years. Good for you guys. Like, you guys have, like, an anniversary or something? Can yes. You have it? June 7th. Coming right up? Mm-hmm. Can have something real nice. Unfortunately, I cannot give him what he wants. Well. Get him something slightly less nice. I don't know. You know... You know, no. I did not mean to disturb you while you're sleeping, but if you require a phone that maybe still has service, let me know. Um, God, you're hot. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> you are also very attractive for a living woman. You are the pillar of beauty and peak. Were I a younger man? You mean it? Yes. I'll take it. Thanks. I can see why Hesha was a little... Hmm. What? <laughs> I said I can see There's why why Hesha was a little... smitten. What was that? With me? Yes, with you. You're hating me a little. You are a rare beauty, especially amongst your kind. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Back at a cut. Right? Pretty full of color, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what he just said? He said what he said. He said what he said. <laughs> he said what he said. <laughs> He said what he said. There you are. <laughs> Me. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> hey, Zeros. Oh. What about to say? <laughs> we type of dissertations in the chat. Hell yeah. Whispers in the chat. <laughs> Damn it. He's everywhere. 
Is the room adequate? It was great. <laughs> Thank you. I have better homes. I used to have a really nice one, but like not quite like this. Hmm. Um. If you have the any phone? the phone, yes. Could... He'll reach into a pocket and pull out a phone. It looks sim familiar, like you've seen this phone before, but. I'll just hold it out. And I can I can use I can use this right. Of course. Okay. Um she'll take it and then like punch in the Brazil number mm -hmm. that as it shows up on her phone. Yep. Yeah. Hello? Hi. Hi. Who is this? Who's this? Uh... Lexi? One moment. I mean, uh, okay. Sound of running. <laughs> Muffled. I don't know. It says it's Lexi. It's like, what do you mean it's Lexi? <laughs> and you hear, hear the familiar sound of Harmony spins the wheel. Mm. Lexi? It's Harmony talking. <laughs> Where? We? What? I don't know. Sweetheart. Just, yeah. I'm so glad you're okay. We, we just found out we've been gone a long time. We were kind of stuck in a nightmare. Harmony, Harmony, like, you hear Harmony yelling. It's like, go to the Holy Heroes and take something. That, take, take the Reclaimers down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that dude's got my axe. What the hell is my axe? Wow. That was a gift from Volca One Eye. I need that axe. Are you all alive? Yeah. Yo, we're lost. Yeah. We thought you were dead. Uh, we thought it had been like, I don't know, six hours and um, Nope. Nope. Not. Nope. Not at all. No, no ma'am. So, um, I, I guess we're kind of dealing with that right now. Actually, I think I'm the only one who has feelings about that. Um. Oh, well, baby. But anyway, we just found out. Well, I'm so glad. Not just because the whole like, yay, the silver pack's still alive, and but you genuinely like as individuals, like I'm so happy you're all still alive. What did we miss? So much. I mean, I figured, but like, big picture down, like big picture I down, miss. uh. The Guru Nation split into two factions. Oh, okay. Well. Stargazers came back. Did, um, did they leave again? And then come back? I mean, that they were gone when you disappeared. Now they're back. Uh-huh. Um... The Zephyr has killed Zizak. What? Suru, the, the, the Zephyr. 
the leader of the Zephyr camp of Stargazers killed the strongest black spiral dancer walking Gaia. Is, is that good? That's good, right? That sounds good. She defeated a very hefty threat. Good for her, little weirdo. She has not been seen or heard from since that fight. Oh, no. Um, other important things. The Pharah have uh, mostly joined up with the Guru Nation for the most part. Thanks to the efforts of Yuri and myself and Roger Daly. Hey. And yeah, those are the important things. So we found ways to start restoring the Karens, uh, the, the seed that you all were protecting um, years ago. Uh, turns out that that is a thing that can work. And so we've slowly been re-strengthening Gaia through those spiritual connections. Okay. Uh, the king is still lost in the Umbra along with his pack. Oh. But if you all can find a way back, maybe he will too one day. Until then, the throne stay remains vacant and the tribal counselors are all leading by voting. Is that working? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I was I was going to be really surprised. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, the the Concord of the Stars and the Sanctum of Gaia are forever at odds. That sounds right. And that's all the big picture things. Uh, the Dark Brigade no longer marches, but that Zmei is still walking about. We're not sure what he's up to. Uh -huh. The vampires uh, helped stop their march. No shit. No shit. Cool, cool. Those are all the important things. Um... They're fine. Okay. They are smart. Please tell me they're not with their dad. He sucks. Uh, they are not with your dad. Oh my god. <laughs> because he sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, you had to find that out. He was given the chance to step up and he did not. He went back to Morocco. Yeah. Well. What are their names? Alexandra and Alexis. <laughs> Va Vancouver, hey, hello, friends. Welcome to Werewolf. They just found out that they've been trapped in the Umber for three years. Yay! Mm. Yay! Good times. Thanks, that Umbra. How wacky nonsense ever. Good old Umbra. <laughs> Go venturing into the deep, Umbra. Next thing you know, it's three years later in Gaia. As long as I ain't got to talk to my parents about drugs, it's always going to be worth it. <laughs> um, like, who named them? Because did they really think I was going to name them Alex and Alex? <laughs> I chose the honorifics to honor their mother, Lexi. Well, once again, I fucked it up. Good Not news, good. they're still real young. <laughs> Just rename them. It's not like it's on any legitimate birth certificates and paperwork or anything, Lexi. Is everyone still in Brazil? Mm. Like, like Bianca and... and yes. Bianca, yes, Tsunami's mate. And their kid is still here. Nelson's 
brothers are still here, yes. Hey. Warren. We kind of don't have passports or anything, but... I mean, we, we have something to do here. And then we're going to come back, okay? We're not going anywhere, Lexi. Okay. Okay. Deep breath. And remember... You're a bad bitch. You're a bad bitch. You're a bad bitch. You're a bad bitch. That's right. <laughs> You've got this. Hey. We'll be Thanks here. Thanks for answering. Thanks for calling. So hang up the hold and hand it back. I have many planes, he'll say, clearly letting you know he heard your conversation. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, when we're done killing Gresham, guess I'll ask for that. <laughs> have a good night, bad bitch. <laughs> Thanks. Meanwhile, back in the library. But in my web, she's going to be like, how much of that did I think? <laughs> how much did you think? <laughs> Probably like half. Yeah. Well, I, got about, well, I don't want to say about half of that. I'm trying to figure out what Tsunami's reading. <laughs> Why? We well, don't need to figure out what's not reading. The, ho stickers, bud. the Holy Triad, at one point in time, worked seamlessly together. The Weaver, the Worm, and the Wild, all in balance. As the Weaver's creation, humans began to rise and began to develop and began to think Things skewed. Some say that the worm went crazy, caught in the weaver's webs. Some say that the worm, once an entity of just death, became the living avatar of atrophy and stagnation. Various people surmise that there are many different things that would have to take place to restore balance to the world, but all come back to restoring the worm to what it once was. Parentheses. Many Guru are found heretical for believing such things. The worm bad. Kill worm wherever it dwells. Yep. Okay. Right. There's one camp of stargazers. Seeking to free the worm and bring it back to balance, thus restoring the triad and thus saving Gaia. Does it mention there what the worm represents out of the triad? Death. It's death? Okay. The wild can't rebore things until they die. Yep. Okay. In the natural order of things, the worm is the death of things so that the wild can then do its job to bring new things. Yep. So on and so forth. Life, purpose, death. And what does the weaver represent? I know humans came out of it and everything there, but... Project oh, the of... Weaver originally was purpose, order. Um, so, like, there's life. There's what you do in your life. Control, Weaver. And then there's death. Mm -hmm. Very Norse. Very Norse. That's Guru. 
They're the one that spins fates. The one that claims, the one that brings. The morality of vampires in your next book <laughs> is long has fluttering eyelashes at tsunami while he reads books. Has long, long been the subject of many speculations as many different vampires, aka kindred, aka canites, aka long list of names, uh, changes. Uh, there is what is known as what was once formerly known as roads of morality paths. There are now path they just call paths in the modern names. And various different ones radiate different energies. Those that follow the path and tenets of humanity, trying to remain some semblance of their mortal life, uh, do not register as worm-born, whereas some that follow more sinister paths register as worm. All depends on the vampire. In question. Note, most canites in the Sabbat fall as some manner of worm tainted, usually, as they do not adhere to the paths of humanity. But nothing really finding that say vampires are of the worm. They just have. Oh, path. as you flip through that tone, vampires are of the weaver. You look up from your books. Nelson's sitting directly across from you. <laughs> just staring. Still waiting on an answer. Never have been so happy not to have spines or titles on these books. What you reading? Uh, well, I mean, you guys seem to know a lot of stuff about a lot of the lore and about things, so I figured I might as well learn some things too. <laughs> cool. What you learn about? about the worm and you know vampires what you learn stuff that was probably against beliefs stone what are you doing while this is going on just staring at Tsunami, who has oh. never been so careful to use his words in oh, his life. Oh, super careful. Yeah, he's like, like he's, his word and his, he's literally staring at you, and it's very obvious he knows something's up. <laughs> he's just got an eyebrow raised. Like, <laughs> you asked if me, you know, well, well, he didn't ask me because I brought it up initially and I didn't really have much to go on so if I'm going to come up with any ideas I, I gotta know stuff right and I don't uh, disagree with that I, I wasn't really getting anything in, in through meditation so So you learn things that would piss us off. Am I going to have to work? Different ideas aren't always wrong. I didn't say that. I said you learn things that would specifically piss us off, and you know it. Just because a different idea might make you upset doesn't mean it's wrong. So, yes. <laughs> if it pisses you it's off, you won't... You won't delve into it, so you need one who won't get upset about it to delve into it. Behind every fable, behind every story, is a hint of truth. Hmm. Okay. I never really I'll be sure to let that. Can I'll be sure to let the uh, the truth catcher know about that. If we can assemble the truth in a whole, maybe we can better understand how to solve the problem. 
The library doors swing open. <laughs> Two individuals come walking in. <laughs> One very Japanese, very anime looking guy. Like long red hair, a leather biker jacket with some kanji written all over it. Jeans, wife beater, biker boots. It looks a bit scaly. It's weird. The other one is draped entirely in black with the exception of some occasional hints, pieces of what looked like silver armor. His hair slicked back. Both of them aren't breathing. Neither of them, unlike some of the other vampires that you've seen around, look human. They clearly look like they're on some manner of, well, as Tsunami just read, different path. <laughs> and if you only look at a puzzle, in the one frame of mind, you'll only ever get one solution. At that, I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to walk over and introduce myself, to walk over to the scaly man. Nope. Cool. As he <laughs> stands not? up and walks over, I open his book. <laughs> and we go up and grab him by the back of his lapel. As soon as he walks away, I just walk over to his book and open the page. He's not walking very far away. Mm. Well, still. <laughs> Evens are odds, Brad. Evens. Mm -hmm. Which book do you want it to be? Which book <laughs> do I want it to be? <laughs> Oh. oh, player's choice. What book do you want it to be, Brad? Uh, I want it to be about the when he was reading about the worm. Yeah, sure. Uh, the natural order of the original triad. Uh, mm -hmm. volume one of six. Okay. And it's literally what most common guru okay. would know. It's like at one point in time, the triad worked in harmony. All was right. All was well. At some point, the worm was driven crazy uh, mm -hmm. and no longer fulfilled its end, thus bringing about the horrors such as black spiral dancers, worm creatures, Malpheus' creation, etc., etc. Okay. That's fine. That's good, then. No, I did. I did. In, in parentheses, notes about a specific stargazer camp that's <laughs> seeking to free the worm. Okay, reading that. <laughs> I just uh, the camp known as the Zephyrs. For some reason, that sounds familiar to you. Uh, a camp known as the Zephyrs uh, believe that the only way to save Gaia is to restore balance to the Holy Trinity. Hmm. Huh. To do so, they have to bring the worm back to what it once was. To do that, they'd have to free it from the weaver's webs. Hmm. Parentheses, parentheses, seen as highly heretical in werewolf culture. Crazy heretical. Yep. So super crazy. Parentheses, 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 maybe why the Stargazers keep joining and leaving. <laughs> Question mark. This book is updating a stone. <laughs> no, it looks like there's been many different pens, like going in and making notes. It's just... These are all there, it's just his eyes keep darting, it's like... Mm. <laughs> Well, he has a memento disease. Uh, Alright, uh, so Nelson, you're trying to stop Tsunami. Uh, Tsunami, are you resisting your alpha grabbing you? I'm not going to resist, but I'm going to look and be like, I'm staying in the library. What are you going to do? Mind speech. <laughs> I'm the, just... The two are looking at Tsunami and Nelson. The one... The one draped in black in armor is like, see? That one understands listening to the Alpha. You should work on that. And I'm in trouble, guys. What's happening? I just, I just, can I talk? Two scaly guys just came in. 
He, yeah, he's he's in an anime trouble, outfit. Not fully in trouble. One looks like an anime, and one looks like a Grammaton cleric from Equilibrium. Both of them are highly interesting in me, to me. <laughs> Be polite. I'll let go. Always am. It's only by accident I ever insult. The one in black the one in black continues on. The scaly biker looking guy seems more approachable, more friendly, and like meets you halfway. Awesome. I don't know how you would greet other people in your thing, but I put, I put my hand off for a handshake. Takes your hand. Me. Takes your hand for answering. Jin. Nice to meet you. Are you a resident here? Sometimes. Sometimes. He swaps to Japanese. Perfect and fluent Japanese. Are you Japanese? Or did you take oh. <laughs> we <clears throat> sorry I was born in Japan yes so uh this may sound rude and I look back at never in troubles um <laughs> this may sound rude but I'm gonna say it anyway <laughs> <laughs> but you know um what are, are, are you? I am a vampire. How close are, 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 are my pack mates? Nelson and Jacob are staring daggers at you. <laughs> probably. <laughs> just just what I know of them, they're probably just like... <laughs> just... Right here. And, and, <laughs> right here in the library. And, 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 and what path do you follow? We, we just... You know what? Because I can, since he's being cagey, let's go ahead and spin that gnosis for heightened senses. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, let's see. It lowers. Why are you? Why do you care? Because maybe. What if what people know is just wrong? Or just half truths all the way through. Jin re cautiously reaches out and pats Tsunami's shoulder. Like that is the conundrum of all living creatures, my friend. And he gives you a bow. Humanity. It goes to follow the dude in black. <laughs> Dude in Black stops and very noticeably sniffs in the general direction of Isabella. I'm just doodling on the table. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. On the table? Or like. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. On a piece of paper. Okay. I was like, I was like, I was like, you, you didn't say that. <laughs> that shit, the librarian's demeanor changes drastically. <laughs> Somebody, I'm no, like, a dot and everyone else is just silent. I just started doodling. <laughs> and what? <laughs> I, 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 I give a wave, then slash bow to the other guy. Unsure which one is the proper way to do. To the Japanese guy or the black guy? Or the dressed in black guy? Dressed in black guy. He looks at you like, kind of like. And goes back to ignoring your existence. I'm going I'm to do two quick rolls real quick. Go for it. Well, you know what? No. He was, uh, Jim was speaking at room volume. So I'm going to yep. on him. You do not have to roll for Jin, no. The other guy in black. <laughs> you kind, bro. kind of. He's odd. Very he's, confusing he's, answer. he's odd. You've He registers on your primal urge 
Mm -hmm. But he's wrong. It's so wrong. It's sort of like he's some kind of abomination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matt, now, what, now what you were told earlier, <laughs> it clicks. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, Matt, I you forgot. I, what was that guy's name again? Jin. J-I-N. Okay. Well, Jin, Jin uh, real quick question. Turns back around. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I literally got so distracted I kind of just lost. Track why are they? The why are? Why are they talking to me? Why aren't they talking to you? Dude in black just kind of shrugs. <laughs> You're more approachable. He looks back at guy in black again. <laughs> Big stupid smile. It's like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. a slower. So. I heard there's a striker um, in India. <laughs> yeah? What about him? Like, besides me. <laughs> what about him? I mean, if you need a fellow striker, so like, I, anything. I, what, like, what do you look like? What Listen, you, I'm, I'm going to let you in on a very, very close secret. As somebody who's interacted with at least, like, Five strikers now, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're all kind of douchebags. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, thank God. Prime right. senses on that one. <laughs> Am I one of those five? Hmm? Am I one of those five? I mean, you're one of the five I've met, but I said only most of them are douchebags. I don't know you well enough to call you that. So there was a. So there's definitely going to be a. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause he could, cause that did, he did not see that one coming. I imagine the mind web is just exploding right now. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just, so just well, laughing. So far, I've met one cool one. Who's that? Uh, Aritzaru. Do not be confused. That with Suru looks over his shoulder at the guy in black. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's, what's... Why would I get confused with Suru? Well, I mean, Oritsuru, Suru, some people assume they're the same. Because the Suru. Mm -hmm. is, is so, I, I know Oritsuru... Oh my god. How, why, how is he so old? <laughs> How You're a striker, you tell me. Oh no. My father really just wasn't there. Congratulations. You're the most self aware striker I've met in at least five years. Mm. The fact you can admit I don't know speaks volumes. <laughs> you are not a douchebag, sir. <laughs> I look at Nelson with a big old smile on my face. At least as far as strikers are concerned. Then it is in mind with. Yeah. At least he can do that to other people. All right. Taking steps. Growing up every day. Anyways, how's he so old? I don't know. Some werewolves sometimes just live a long time. And, 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 and I'm going to turn to Suru, the guy in black. Um, name's Tsunami, by the way. Thank you. So much. Gonna... Call him Suru. Call him Suru to his face. <laughs> he can't even call him Suru. No, he did he sure not. Did. He sure did. He's sure his full sure. name. He's his full name right now. Right to his face. You, uh, okay. I'm sorry. The, the dude in black, you say what to him? Okay. Just to make sure I'm clear. The other guy called him Suru. No, right? the other set guy said not to be confused with Suru and looked back at him. That is exactly what happened. You can take that. You can take that however you would like. His name is Suru. Call him Suru. Call him Suru. Suru. By the way, my name's Tsunami. It's nice to meet you. Never heard of you. He says, not even looking up from a book. I mean, well, that is not very surprising. Um, I only became like a werewolf not that long ago. And Do better. 
Is he always like this? Ginger's not. Can I try to, like, sense anything about Jin? Like, you know how you can sense things about your own werewolf people and, like, see what... You can try to primal urge, Jin, absolutely. Yeah, I just, I just want to see if I can sense, like, you know, if he's a high person or what. Yeah, sure. Uh, the, the, the primal urge is what you know to check on people. Uh, which primal urge... Uh, whatever your equivalent of you a werewolf bro is. Perception primal urge. Per Perception primal urge. <laughs> okay, because I don't, I don't have that one on there. Because so. <laughs> normally Tsunami doesn't care what rank somebody else is. He's Tsunami. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not wrong. What difficulty? Six, six, six standard. Okay. <laughs> you are not getting any werewolfness off of Jin at all. I was hoping it'd work. That. Thank you again. I appreciate your patience. Is that to Jin or to Suru? Both. <laughs> Guy in black continues to ignore you. Unimpressed. Non-caring. Mm -hmm. Jin gives you a polite bow. Is, is, is he the same as you? No. <laughs> Prime orange on cereal. <laughs> I have to. Hey. Uh, I have to message Maddie later. Hey, uh, <laughs> yep. I'd love to hear about that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Clip. Rank five. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, uh, sir. Um, <clears throat> he does not look much older than you. But as you're staring, there's... He's not breathing. He's not sweating. He's not blinking. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself properly, sir. Um, it's Tsunami, Arun, of the Reclaimers, Adrian. Stargazer. It. Stargazer. Tell me shoe size. You're not amongst the nation right now. It doesn't matter. Well, I know last time I did it, I got in trouble, so I just didn't want to get in trouble again. It's good for you to know your manners. Art closes the book, sets it down. Does he keep calling a guy Zuru? No. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna let that happen. No. I'm watching. Mm. We're here. I, again, um, it'd be rude to ask for that. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your patience and kindness. You're welcome. Jen just didn't shoot you a thumbs up. The grim voice. Just, you're welcome. <laughs> you know what? Um, I'm sorry for asking. This. I gotta ask this. I, otherwise, it'll just won't just tear me apart. <laughs> Are you alive? Like, 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 are you like, I don't want to say like vampire, but like, you're werewolf, but like, you're not breathing. Who's your alpha? I fucked up, didn't I? Head down. Hey, Bill, walk over. Never in trouble. What's his deal? We are still trying to figure that out. He's an Arun stargazer. He's been dumped with lots and lots of prophecy upon his head. 
with no real time to get his feet under himself. It sounds strangely familiar. Go have a seat, Tsunami. He was already moving to have a seat. Back to his books. <laughs> Back to his worm books. <laughs> Yep. That is now to, open on the book on the yeah, table. A stones going through right stones now. Stones sitting there. Stones looking down at. <laughs> well, I got other books I'm gonna look at. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob can have that book. <laughs> stones, for that wow, stones got all the books. You don't get any books. <laughs> you go find. You go find some color by numbers. <laughs> you have a nod. Head back. He gives you a nod as well. Turns goes to the librarian. He's like, I need the volume I was reading last night. It's like he goes to say a name and then just stops as if realizing his company's like, what I was reading last night. <laughs> Kiasin. Or the Fay hands it over. Fay, yeah. We don't the Fay. Well, the person that might know isn't here, so. Mm hmm. <laughs> Jen's like, all right, I'm going to go train. I'll catch up with you later. There's no response from Dark Dude. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'm going to go spot. I'm going to go spot. I think tonight's going to be the night that I take down Zen. That I take down Zen. I raise my hand slowly. <laughs> Nelson. Yeah, oh, no. Nelson already answered and said, no, you've trained enough for tonight. <laughs> you used all your training talking. Are you grounded again? Nelson's going to reach up and just, like, put his hand back down. I'm in the corner reading. <laughs> oh, you, you're, you're never without your pack, Tsunami. Yeah, but, like... They've all, joined, they've, all, they've all joined you at your table where your books were that you said you were going to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to a different spot with my book so I can read my book. Okay, fine. I will, set, I will definitely stand up, walk over, sit directly across from you, staring at you. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, at least he's not reading your books. <laughs> he didn't read that one he had before. It's, it's, it's barely even the, like, the subject matter of the books. It's, why are you sneaking it? Because you guys disapprove. You won't tell us what's in it. How do you know? Because Sanctum Guru have closed minds, says the grim figure sitting at another table. Which is hilarious, because I haven't joined any Sanctum. Your tribe did. <laughs> Going against your tribe, Fian? Uh, We've been gone for a while. We've been gone for a bit. The abyss is wacky, I've been told. The books are about the worm, vampires, and morality of everything. We'll fall around those. Just trying to get a different perspective of what we perceive as the problem. Because the worm and us has have been at war for however long. There's got to be a different solution. Hmm. Stands up. Alpha, I would like to go back to my room with someone who trusts me. And he'll turn and walk away mm. to see someone who trusts me. <laughs> Essentially. No. Yep. No. That's why I didn't want to share no. That's a real big assumption that I would try to stop you from learning stuff. Well, we got to talk. We're pack. 
If you're not going to trust your pack, what's the point of being in it? Thank you. I trust them with my life, but not with your opinions. Not with opinions that can be heretical to everything they've ever known in life. Things have been weird. Right? And I would rather get my actual opinion about things and then bring it to, to light before just saying, hey, cool, I'm going to learn more about the worm and how it may be good. Hey, Tsunami. None of us have weird thoughts or inclinations or opinions on things. You think it's just you? In my no, mind. But, but you will typically look into it and figure it out before you bring it up. And that's what I was trying to do. You guys, you know, railed on me about having a half-baked idea before, so I want to make sure I get a full idea before I bring it up again. Which is great, but you don't have to keep it a secret. Lexi, you hear... I don't know enough about something. Lexi, you hear arguing in the hallway outside of your room. It sounds like mild-mannered Rollin is trying his best to talk down some angry-sounding girl. The Drop girl's... the blanket, hold the bottle. The girl's... The door. Girl sounds familiar to you. Kind of familiar. Like it's one of the last voices you heard before you went into the umbra. Hmm. No. Drop the blanket, hold the ball, open the door. Open the door. Her hair's shorter. She's not in priestess Japanese priestess robes anymore. It was like skin tight and black, like denim and leather. But that's Suru. Hey, I thought you disappeared. I thought you died. We're both wrong. She walks over and gives Lexi a hug. You want some? Who made it? I don't know. Weird guy made a bottle. No, I'm good. <laughs> what have you been up to? Where have you been? Lost in the abyss. Oof. Three year nightmare. Huh? Sounds like the abyss. <laughs> you were busy. Always. You being mean to that poor man. Let's fuck him. <laughs> what did you do, Roland? I told her that her dad her dad doesn't want to be bothered. Oh, her dad? Mm-hmm. Who's her dad? Her dad's here? Mm-hmm. Who's your dad? Evan Shrek's first. Is he at one of those places we're not supposed to go? Roland's like, the East Wing. You're not allowed to not go there, but just cautioned against Okay, okay, okay. He's, so the, one, he's the one that I kept saying was weird or different. The abomination. He says abomination. Suru turns and just decks him. Oh, oh. You good? <laughs> Roland's head is like snapped out of place from the blow. Then you like walk it off or do you want to go call somebody for you? He'll get up on his own. Don't worry about him. It's not the first time you've killed him. It won't be the last. It's fine. But look at you! Look at you! Look at me? Look at you! 
Look at you. You got a bottle of booze and you got a whole wardrobe change. Your stomach's flat now. Yeah, I'm hot again. Congrats. What hot before? Where'd you go? I went to Arizona. Why? That's where the biggest, baddest black spiral dancer lived. I heard you won. Oh. I strangled her to death with her own whip. That's kind of hot. It was. Do you want to see? Eh? Can I, can I like, <laughs> insight Stranger danger. real quick? Stranger danger. Uh, sure. Uh, empathy. Yeah. Perce perception empathy. How much of this is getting into the web? <laughs> That's a great question. Like, see how much of that is getting into the web? Like, uh, also about half. Mm. It's about to be move time. <laughs> no, it's past move time. I'm going to ask what to do about these books. Yeah. What are you trying to, which part are you trying to insight? Just like her, I guess her, it's a vibe check. It's a vibe check. Unhinged. <laughs> like, um, like, like you can't read if the vibe, is she flirting with me? Or does she actually want to strangle me? Or like what? Like, do you have like pictures? Like, is it on your Insta? I don't. One of her hands moves down to her belt. It's like, no, I can show you. Starts unfastening it. Well, I'm not about to miss this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just going to sit there and take another drink. I'm going to take another drink while I wait. It's not fun if you don't fight back, Lexi. Stops undoing her belt. Oh, is that why? You... I thought it was like a scar or something. I'm going to go see my dad. It was good to see you. I'm glad you're not dead. Thanks. Same, maybe? Mm -hmm. Why are you crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm blessed. Ugh. You know what? This is fine. I fucked it up crazy. Can go back to being alone. You're not alone. Floor's sleeping in the room, remember? Alone. <laughs> Jacob, as you're walking back, because you left before everyone else. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till Roland like moves at least. <laughs> you hear the popping of his neck moving back into place on its own. Oh god. Can I help you in some way? A hand raises. <laughs> he take, gladly accepts the assistance and standing back up. As his head kind of like slots back in place. <laughs> All right. At least it wasn't a claw this time. Mm-hmm. Those hurt. Mm, they, they do. Do you need anything, ma'am? The last three years of my life. I can't give that to you. No, you sure can't. <laughs> he was back to writing in his notebook. <laughs> Jacob, as you're walking down the halls, there's an angry-looking Japanese girl kind of stomping her way down. Okay. She stops when she sees you walking up, though. Okay. And smiles nice and big. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gives a 
half smile because I'm not sure he ever met her really. So he, he just he just continues yeah. on like he's like ha eh. <laughs> just move mm -hmm. back. Bye Boulder. And continues walking. <laughs> okay. So that's gonna that's definitely going into my web just a question Boulder. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson makes that noise in my head. <laughs> uh, a boulder. <laughs> about, see about putting these books back. You can just leave them on the cart. I will return them back to their shelves. Superb. Mm, everything has its place. I'm Isabella. Mm. Books up. We got to move back to the room. Okay. Time for. I think we should get some sleep anyway. Yeah. And also see what's going on with Lexi because uh, I don't know if y'all heard that too, but I heard bits and pieces. I heard her disparage her beauty while pregnant, and she was beautiful then too. Absolutely. Stop it. Lexi's getting warnings in MindWeb already of what conversation's coming. What? Let y'all know that Stone has been real quiet in MindWeb. Other than the Oops, same the time time. Boulder slipped because yeah. that caught him off guard. But otherwise, he's been guarding his thoughts right now. Mm. Tsunami, are you going to go with your Alpha and Isabella? Did he request it? Mm-hmm. Can I stay here and read more? I'd prefer that you didn't. I don't want to have to make an order. Quest or a preference? Doesn't have to be an order, just a request. It was already a request. It's about to be upgraded okay. to an order. Thank you. I didn't. I was lost in thought while reading. Sorry. It oh. happens. I'm gonna walk over to the guy. Um, uh, I had to just leave these books here for you, but but um, I'm, I'm done reading them for the moment. I thank you so much. You're very. I'll put them back, but I don't know where they go. That's fine. Just leave them on the cart. That is my job. And do not. You do not have to thank me. I am honored to be part of your growth and journey. Of learning. Can I, can I like take out a book? The books must remain in the library. Okay, I, I kind of figured. Be well, Thank young you. scholar. I'll follow. Yeah. Already right, walking. You guys walk. You encounter a Japanese girl next. Stops. Yep. She stops and like stares at you and Tsunami and just you and Tsunami. It's like she doesn't even recognize or acknowledge Isabella. Keeps walking. Something familiar. Maybe it's in your dreams. Cousin walks past you two. Uh, there were two recognizers. Would it just be a dry intelligence? Yep. Okay. That's one success by Nelson. Mm -hmm. No success. Well, I mean, so so much different about her. I mean, clearly, that you only remember her one way, but Nelson, that was definitely like the Shinto priestess mm -hmm. girl you met years ago, apparently. Yep. She's no longer looking like a priestess. Nope. <sighs> Left the clergy behind. Mm -hmm. Speaking of behind, no time. Running. Yeah. <laughs> she pauses like she's waiting and then when nothing comes, she continues on. 
half expecting something. It doesn't happen. And the pack is able to reconvene perfectly fine with nothing going wrong at all. Back in your room in the castle. Yeah, it was a library. Boring. And lightning. And eventful. <laughs> There's an explosion outside of the room. Jesus. Christ. Out in the courtyard. Damn it. <laughs> Did one of you do that? Not me. We're all here. <laughs> I'm a girl. Yeah, like an explosion. You can We're set timers. That, that's. I mean, guns are just barely in my purview. I can't think about explosives. Back to back to Lupus. <laughs> you guys, let me know if anybody looks out the window of the courtyard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, guy who made you your bottle, Lexi, looks like he has like pulled up part of the earth, and some Japanese biker-looking dude is just breathing a gout of fire. In his general direction. <laughs> the tsunami's missing. <laughs> Drink some what more. The hell is that? that it's too late to worry movie. about it. Oh, creator, I guess. What? I mean, uh, the art of minding cool. our own business. Oh, I'm not going down there, but I'm watching. Yeah, that's so cool. A full, There's so many weird people here. A full a, tsunami. You are watching a real life anime fight play out in front of your eyes. At one point, the creator, the guy that you know, seems to turn rocky. Like his flesh stops being flesh, and he turns more into stone. He grows another set of arms. Who's oh. that guy? That's the dude what made the booze. So do you know what he is? Now he's making a giant sword. What's a creator? That's the word. I don't know what that means, but yeah. The Japanese biker guy turns into an Asian dragon. Alright, I didn't know okay. I am beginning to wonder if I ever actually woke up. Is this real? Is this real life? Pinched. Somebody punch me. I'm not gonna punch you, but pinched. No, I'm tough. What that? <laughs> no, I'm tough. Fuck you. <laughs> With the pack all assembled, the dumbwaiter opens back up with another small ding. Not my turn. The hell is that? I go for it? Yeah. It's right there along one of the walls. Dumbwaiter, open. An envelope with a, with a red seal with a, a lovely, lovely little crown embedded into the wax. Oh, neat. No, oh, super got hot guy said he has a lot of planes. Oh, hell yeah. Swoop. Open. You open. Wallace Gresham. There's an address underneath it. Huh. What's it say? It's Gresham's address. Oh, I tell the guy we were going to kill him. Endorse. You know where he lives. You know where he lives. So that's one thing down. <clears throat> Thanks, Hawkeye. <laughs> so drunk after we killed this bastard. Drunk for days. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> Isabella. Yes. Drink, drink with it. me. Don't drink. Drink with me. Why not? 
Bella will take a small tiny sip. D More than that. Isabella, with just the small sip, Isabella, instantly warm and wobbly. Oh. Let's sit down. Yeah, I sleep so fucking good. Strong stuff, and I'm gonna need some. I have a blanket. I don't want to go anywhere. Tsunami, the, tsunami, the anime fight continues to rage on. The dragon keeps trying to dig its fangs and claws into the stone and scraping along. And the four-armed monstrosity now, not bringing the blade down, but like the flat end, like he's clearly not trying to kill who yeah. you know to be Jin, but they're going at it. And Jin, in all of his glory and awesome and Japanese-ness. <laughs> Fucking sketch. Uh, yep. He um, is not getting really anywhere against this rock monster. He reverts back to a humanoid form and proceeds to start doing Naruto hand symbols as if they're real and they matter before doing another, like, Uchiha-style blast of fire. I mean, they do matter. Obviously, I just watched them. Obviously. You just watched it happen. <laughs> it's these two. The flashiest. Could have been yeah. Eric and Leo just standing face-to-face -face punching each other. <laughs> Is there anything else the pack would like to do before going to bed here at the Bizarro Castle? Of many what different of world of dark of many different world of darkness creatures. Full one. Full one. Yeah, I'm I'm putting in my breakfast order and just Isabel is drunk, yeah. Lexi's drunk, Jacob's still a little buzzed. Mm-hmm. Buzzed and pissed. And being strangely quiet. Lexi will offer silence yep. stone a little more booze. He shakes his head. I'm just gonna sit down beside him then. Silent too. Eventually she'll drink enough to pass out. Yay! <laughs> On the floor with stone. Hell yeah! Pack bonding. Yeah. Tsunami, eventually the fight ends. Rock guy, of course, comes up victorious as the dragon, Jin, runs out of steam. Whatever resources powers his, kind of like how Gnosis and Rage power you, seem depleted. Whereas Zen, the creator... The guy who made Lexi her bottle of booze. Oh, we lost them. Oh, they're back. We're not them back. Seems not even out of breath or anything. There's an exchange of words and like a handshake. Jen just goes wandering back off, kind of like kicking rocks. A little frustrated. And you see uh, Zen make his way over to some building out there in the courtyard. From the brief glance you can see as he opens up a, a barn-style door, it looks like a forge. Mm. He leaves the door open and you see him clearly start working. There's like rows of different metals and stone and wood and he just spends the rest of the night crafting doesn't ever seem to get tired does anybody else have anything for tonight as you have no. as you have explored this place of horrors that you have found yourselves in and wonder for some of you oh yeah it's, it's an interesting place nope nope 
<laughs> Quiet on the stone front. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you do anything for Lexi who's passed out on the floor beside you? I'll put a blanket over her. <laughs> Just yeah. wolf drag a blanket yeah, over her. Yeah, Straight like that, yep. Doesn't shift, mm -hmm. he just actually just does it in wolf form. Beautiful. Oh. Uh, uh -oh. She's, she's yep. trying. She's, she's trying. trying so hard. <laughs> she'll get there. We believe in you. Well then. You got this. If there's nothing else, we'll just go also, ahead. We'll also move the bottle so that Lexi doesn't knock it over in her sleep. Nice. <laughs> this bottle is clearly very important to her now. Yes. <laughs> My emotional support it, bottle. Just okay. picks it up and puts it on a table. <laughs> very carefully, head sideways. <laughs> Hand it off to Muhammad. We're here. <laughs> We're here with hands for you. <laughs> yeah. Yay. What that stupid thing. Oh. Huh? I went to the phone. Hi. That's fine. Okay. Welcome back. Yeah, All right. Back. Well, great night of role playing. You guys have now have a lead on the would be target that is Gresham. There are so many different things to learn from here. So okay. many sights to see. So many wonders here in the glorious Czech Republic, aka Prague. Mm -hmm. It is ten after twelve. I, I will see. I will. You will, once we murder our you arch will. nemesis. It's fine. We gotta kill this guy first. All right, Lexi. There are babies to protect. Nelson. Jake and Stone, not Jacob. Mm -hmm. He so, almost made it the whole episode. Uh, no, I didn't. I called him Jacob a couple was a, times. Was a few oh, times. did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely yeah. do. But I'm allowed to. Older. I'm allowed to because he can't <laughs> hurt me. True. You're a spy and storyteller. <laughs> See you WrestleMania weekend, man. You better fucking show up for that. Mm hmm. Yes. You've abandoned us the past couple premium live events. Just wait. Cody Rhodes is wrestling. No. no. Twice. His tattoo. <laughs> two times, two times oh, I said, oh, let's go outside. <laughs> no, you won't. I'll sit in my car. Lock the doors? Just... We will tackle you if you try to leave the living room. <laughs> the bathroom. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Jacob, who made your night tonight? Oh. There's a lot of good, there's a lot of good role play. Going to give it to Tsunami. Hell yeah! For doing the impossible and making me making me now understand why Stone might take the bolder route. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> to be fair, Tsunami doesn't know about the boulder. No, he no, don't. But but uh, to be fair, Jacob doesn't know about the boulder route. Nope, not yet. But <laughs> not yet. Remember what the name of this chronicle is. Yeah, but certain, but currently, certain thoughts are going through his head, which is why he's cut off, been basically cutting out of mind web. Oh, somebody else is thinking about the worm now, aren't they? <laughs> Isabella, who made your night tonight? I'm losing them. Uh, oh. Tsunami for trying to be so hedgy. Yeah. Crying. Deadly did right. really, Deadly did a really good job tonight, and it, what's great is it came from a place of pureness. Little does he know mm -hmm. what he's wrought. Hey, speaking of tsunami, uh, uh, I kind of like. Ooh. I I gotta give it to Brad. Mm -hmm. Just you know, just staring the staring me down and just. Well, he just he had grabbing my book and reading it for himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what is he reading? Oh, that dick. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just answer. So, and, and we'll put no. the cricket for drawing on the table. 
<laughs> and momentarily had a heart attack. Yeah, look, look, several of us know about this castle. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my god. Oh. There, there, there was some out of character terror suddenly. <laughs> oh, you like drawing on the table? How do you like being drawn on as a table? Wait 40 hours? I'm 90% sure I'm hallucinating right now. Uh, oh, man. Oh. It's all good. I assure you, everything you heard, everything you heard tonight was real. I assure you, not a hallucination. That's just the That's exactly what a hallucination would say. That, that that is how bonkers the world of darkness is capable of being. Lexi. Oh, I'll have him. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Isabella for uh, just really. I'm trying to wait this out till she can go to the town. She's like, I just want to go sightseeing. She's like, oh, there's an argument. It's fine. Here's one of those like middle school S's. Just <laughs> Corbin, Mr. the face and this vandalism. And and finally, Nelson. Ooh. I want to give one to everybody because everybody was so good tonight. But you're not able to. I'm not able to. Yeah, pick one. I want one. to follow tsunami because mine's been taken like twice. Um, <laughs> well, sexy because uh, you know, finally gets to drink. So she's gonna sit in the room and drink with you know, sleeping floor. <laughs> yeah. And have her own little mini adventures as people come to visit. <laughs> well, I was I was gonna let Jen be left out of the entire session. Of course not. Not with this cadre of so many people, so many things. All the hot people and Rollins. Just, you know, Rollins ain't bad looking, but you know. It's not. I think he had, like, an appearance three, if I remember right. Yeah, but just just coming out here to get killed in the hallway. <laughs> it happens. Can you help me out, please? I'm used to this. I wish I could die. <laughs> I just can't. I keep waking up. If one day one of them will take <laughs> one day <laughs> one of these days uh, if you're not part of our discord community we would love to have you over there you can come we have so many channels about so many things from arts and crafts to books to tabletop games to video games so on so forth etc we are all fairly active over there and we would love to have you as part of our family and community uh, YouTube, if you're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Which is fair, because even the players are like, what? Because even the players are like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, oh, come yeah. check us out on YouTube. We have so many chronicles, including this one, where you can catch up and be like, the fuck? And the then you'll have... Light drain from all of our eyes. <laughs> as we suffer Remember both it. in character and out of character, trauma and Hirano. Uh, <laughs> glory be. And of course, there's Patreon. If you don't want to give me money, but not give half of it to Amazon, uh, consider subscribing over on Patreon. We have many different tiers, many different rewards that you can see by clicking that link in chat or clicking that link down below in YouTube, uh, ranging from channel redeems, private Discord channels, uh, signups for games, uh, weighted voting for games, so on, so forth. Merch, sweet merch. I need to go back and remember what the fuck the Get a Fenris thing we said at the beginning was. But that was a really good idea for merch, and I want to see that happen. Uh, we will be back Sunday with Jen of Thieves Highlander campaign. Uh, and if that doesn't tickle your fancy, we will be back Wednesday with the Turnum, our ongoing new D&D &D campaign. And of course, Friday is Werewolf Friday where we'll be doing more werewolf things, hopefully this time with the whole pack, and uh, maybe uh, put in an end to one particular vampire that's been the source of much, much trauma and badness in these young werewolves' lives. I am DM Daddy RPG. We are joined by uh, Pierce Heyman. Portrayer of Nelson, Jen of Thieves, portrayer of Lexi, Deadly Ambitions, portrayer of Tsunami, uh, Brad with Noir, everybody's favorite Skelly Boy, uh, portraying Unyielding Stone, aka Jacob, and Miss Cricket, portraying Isabella Moonbloom. And shout outs to the Bat Sam, player of Floor. I hope things are going 
better for her. Uh, and we will hopefully have her back soon. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend if we don't see you on Sunday. And remember, Daddy loves you.